Okay, so I developed like a presentation <coughs> out of the video that I did yesterday. <coughs> I'm sorry. So this is Paola Cajares from, you know, from Pocono Live, living in PA. My channel is about sharing my experiences of what I have encountered myself with the Poconos. So let's start with, you know, it could be a little long. So make sure you subscribe, right? My channel, this is how you find it on YouTube. This is like the code. Um, my name is Paola Cajares and this is how my channel on YouTube looks like. So, you know, let's start by that. So I'm not sure to whether you guys are gonna see this, but in the other video that I posted yesterday, you could see this you know better and what does it say so let's start so careers to consider when moving to the Poconos when I was living in New York my career that I have I was able to find a job anywhere because in New York I didn't have those issues that I have today so now I noticed that oh my god when I was working in New York why is not working over here so, um, this is Pocono Mountain Counties, right? So, they have Carbon, Monroe, Pike, and Wayne. So, if you're going to look at the Poconots, right? Most of the people that live, that comes from New York, and New York City live in this county, Monroe and Pike. So we're gonna concentrate in these two, um, these two counties because even though you find a job in Carbon or in Wayne, it's really far. And Wayne and Carbon County, they don't have like, a, like I could say, like um, a fame or or like they they pay good. So I'm not even talking about them. So let's move on. The U.S. says the U.S. Census of Bureaus reported that in Monroe County, in 2017, population was 1,068. I mean, 100,068 09 people, right? That's just 2017. And then on 2018, it grew about 1,400 people more because we're talking about one. 6,900,507. So the population growth in Monroe County, as we're speaking, is growing. That it was like years, 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 and years back. So that's a growth rate of 8.80%. That's a, that's a lot in only one year. It's a lot. And also, if we look at Pike County, because these are the two counties that people move, you know, when they come from New Jersey or New York. In 2017, it was 55,523, and then in 2008, 55,933, it's, it's, a, it's a great number. And then we have a growth rate of 0 0.74, closer to, to Monroe, but of course, Monroe is the closest, it's the entrance to Pennsylvania, so of course, people's going to move more into Monroe County, and Monroe County is an area that is growing at much faster rate than Pike or the other counties. I can say so. Para decir esto rapidito en español, eh, mi canal es acerca de las experiencias que yo estoy viendo aquí en Pensilvania. Y Monroe County y Pike County son los counties donde más las personas que vienen de Nueva York y New Jersey se mudan. Y aquí estamos viendo cómo la población ha crecido en solo un año y ha crecido demasiado. So what are the issues of the rural communities? When you move to the Poconos, you move to a rural area. That means like farm here, farm there. Like Pennsylvania has this uniqueness of, especially the Poconos, I don't know other parts of Pennsylvania, but it's like farm, farm, residential home, farm, farm, residential home. So like that's how these rural areas that we live are turning into. So where? going from rural and i think the next step is that Monroe county is going to turn into a suburb you know in it's like it's growing so much that it's going to turn into a suburb 
you know, in some years to come. Not now, but in some years to come. So, the lack of, um, of services for diverse ethnic groups, right? At, you know, the population growth is, is growing fast. And then there aren't enough services for any groups in general, right? So, because there's no set up like services for any groups, so they aren't also those positions for any groups. So, what I have found out that in Monroe County, Pike County, uh, Wayne County, and Carver County, because their population still the majority is white Anglo-Saxon people. They don't have those bilingual positions as you have in New York or New Jersey, right? Also, you know, they have other issues, but that's one of the issues, right? Uh, schools, businesses, government agencies, lack of cultural competence. When, why am I saying lack of cultural competence? This, let's just look at this home relocation real estate guy and and I'm not doing any commercial for them or anything like that just an example they have not paid me a penny for this but I was I was looking at this right and they show the the various homes that they're selling and you know people owners every single page I went through right like other real estates and everything like that. And none of these said, none of these said, se habla espanol, like you speak Spanish, or we are bilingual, or nothing. Like, so who do you want to come here to buy these homes? Because you're not, like, this is why I say cultural competence. <laughs> like, incompetence, incompetence. Because this this is not welcoming immigrants. There's no bilingual shit going on. I'm sorry for the expression. Or like stuff that really shows, yeah, we want you brown people over here, you know? Like nothing. Nothing says se habla espanol. Nothing said we're bilingual. Come, welcome. Right? Um, this, for example, you know. You go through it, guns, of course. <laughs> this is the gun state. Um, you see, but none of these businesses that I saw said, you know, se habla espanol, uh, we're bilingual, whatever. Yes, we want you here. I mean, there is Spanish restaurants, but I mean, uno que otro. Yeah? Pero aquí en ninguna de estas páginas que yo diga, o sea, como los Real Estates o otras compañías que no tengan que ver nada con restaurante, dice se habla español, etcétera, etcétera. Eso es lo que yo digo que tienen incompetencia de culturas, que no dicen, yes, we want you here, right? No, you know, like, whatever, whatever. So this is what I, what I mean. It's not reflecting the welcoming. No, it's not. So, like, this is things that I, I have observed. So that's why I say schools, businesses. In my daughter's school, only one time, and I believe that was around May, something like that, they did a multicultural thing, and it only was, like, for the children that were yes you know english language learners but it wasn't like a, a festival like come let me show you how they they look like <laughs> come let me show you what they eat or no it was just that program for that program that's it so that's why i said school businesses and government agencies lack of cultural competence period so Why I say cultural competence? Is it racism or is it a clash between cultures, right? Or is it that um, because they have never been exposed to it, they are portraying themselves as, I mean, in, into my eyes, as off oh, frock. You know, I'm sorry for the expression, but it's like, is this person 
was this person just racist to me or is it lack of culture competence that this person has i don't know which one which one to believe because they have never been exposed to other cultures so that's why this word comes up racism right so is it that or not so lo que yo lo que yo he visto acá en este estado en esta área que se llama los poconos es racismo o es un o es un clash de culturas cuál de los dos puede ser Muchas de las personas que viven acá y que han nacido acá y que han crecido acá, ¿cierto? Nunca han estado expuestas a otras culturas, entonces no sé cómo ponerlo. I don't know how to put it. Is it racism or not? Period. I don't know. Okay. As this population gets denser, right? Power outages are a problem, right? So, I don't know what is a PPL doing, but this is the 21st century. This is not a third world country, where I'm, it's not to offend other countries that don't have electricity, but come on, this is the United States of America. While we still have power outages, I don't know. So that's something that you guys have to explain to me. Yo no entiendo porque aquí todavía se va la luz. Este es un país supuestamente primer mundista, la superpotencia, bla, 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 y todavía se va la luz. En áreas rurales como los pocos, no sé, o sea, que yo no sé. Crime rates get higher when population grow, right? So, wh why am I saying that? Because as people come here, right, it's not the people that escape coming here that, it, that are doing the crimes but other people that they're friends with see an opportunity around these places i'm not saying all all the people that come here are criminals but as people come more and more you know crime rates get get higher right so and and there's a saying here that people say like oh when new york moves here they bring new york with them in a way it's true and it's not to offend my New Yorkers, it's not to offend New Jersey people, it's not to offend anybody, but sometimes when New Yorkers, when we come to a, a new place, we come with our, you know, mindset, New Yorkers, this and that, and we refuse to change in a way. So that's why I expose this here too, that as the population grows, of course, crime rates grow. And then the landers that are born here, you know, they, they blame it on the people that are coming new and blah, 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 blah. Okay, anyway. So, lack of festival offering diversity of food. There was um, um, a festival. It's like the Pocono Festival, something like that. But the food, they, it didn't have diversity in it. I don't know if it's because diverse groups that are here don't know that these festivals exist is it because there's too much licensing process to sell the food are these people being invited to i don't know but it's not happening and it's very few people like i haven't seen a taco stand or uh, you know, like I only saw one Equatorian people selling like Equatorian food, but that was it. I didn't see any other countries from other parts of the world being at this, at this. And our population is growing. It's not like they're not here. They're here, but I don't see it. I don't see it happening. So, of course, we live in the forest. So depression and substance abuse occurred. There's a relationship between rural areas and drugs that is just like a corto circuito. It's like, right? So, como estaba diciendo, cuando la población crece, pues los crímenes crecen. Personas que se mudan de New York, New Jersey, no están, no están siendo las personas que se mudan acá, que compran casa, pero puede ser como amistades o otras personas que ven la oportunidad o oh, para allá se están mudando los neoyorquinos, pues vamos a llevar a Nueva York allá y vamos a hacer de las nuestras, como quien dice, ¿no? Pero no es para ofender a nadie, ni tampoco ser estereotipo o decirlo, oh, está hablando de racismo y mira la, los, los temas racistas que está la, la, diciendo ella, no, sino como decir, 
es obvio de que mientras la población crece, pues los crímenes también. Los festivales aquí no son como diversos, no, no, no están como bienvenida a la diversidad. Yo no veo, yo solamente vi una, un stand de esos de comida ecuatoriana, pero yo no vi comida colombiana, yo no vi comida de otros países, dominicana, nada. Oh, and these gay people, I didn't see none of them in their festivals at all. Y pues como esto es un monte, por acá esto es una soledad tan berraca, pues claro, la depresión y el, y el abuso de las sustancias, of course. So, lack of population representation in government. So, we are here, we're growing as we speak, but, okay, what is it lacking? Lots of the people that come to Apocalypse commute to New York, commute to New Jersey. Being part of government, in what time? At what time they're going to be part of government? What time they're going to say, okay, I want to be elected for the board members or whatever? They don't have time. So there's lots of lack of government representation. And that's why these jobs are not being created towards the ethnic groups that are coming to live here. Right? Because we have a lack of representation. Okay, so stereotyping and these white people calling ethnic groups the police oh my god for anything they they call the police on people like come on people white people stop calling people police you know <laughs> like you know like they always call the police on minorities from whatever and lack of economic development right for professional development so why am i saying that because the economy of Monroe and Pike County is stores tourism. So the investment that is that is being done or the jobs that are being created are towards tourism, but not towards professionalism and creating jobs that will attract professionals to say, you know what, I'm gonna leave my job in New York and I'm gonna come and work here. It's very hard to find a job here. I can tell you that. So, the Poconos economic development, right? So, new residents are adapting their careers towards becoming entrepreneurs. So, what, what does this mean? So, okay, I want to commute to New York. I know the community is really, it's really bad. So, you know what? Let me, let me do my own business here. So, I see people is making money with the real estate. So, let me work on my real estate license, right? Oh, um, you know what, um, the business over here, you know, like tourism. So let me, let me create some type of, um, company that, that is towards the tourism. So like people that are professionals are becoming entrepreneurs in a way to survive here or else they're going to starve to death. Okay. So personas. Que, que tienen sus carreras, se están viendo se, los forzadas a ser personas independientes y hacer su dinero independiente y buscando otras maneras como haciendo la, la, ay, ¿cómo es que se dice eso? La licencia de real estate o, o abriendo una compañía para el turismo, cosas así. ¿no? Agencies are starting to offer uh, workforce training for future talent recruitment, like, these people, at a certain point, when you look at these websites that you look, right, they, they say, oh, you have this, this, and that. But they started to understand, you know what, We're, we, we, in order to attract professionals from that, that live here, to stay here and work, we have to train these people. Or else they're not, gonna, they're not, they're not really going to go back to school and do like another another master's degree or, or, or the course or anything like that. So let's just offer the training so they can work here, right? So that's what is going on. Algunos, algunos, not everybody. Some agencies provide that, not every agency. Some agencies said, no, you gotta have that or bye-bye. So algunas agencias sí están dando entrenamiento, pero otras no. Okay. New companies are being developed to promote wellness and health. Like I said, you see? Like here, this is this is a business that promotes like the kai the kayas. It promotes um, wellness and health. So their purpose is to attract new residents, like New Yorkers, New Jersey people, the tourists, 
they're not really focusing on <laughs> like the landers and that's why the landers hate us so much because it's like okay i worked all week in new york so now every saturday and sunday i want to relax so let me go to the kayaks let me do some kayak let me go to the water parks let me go and do the casino you know so the, the, it's, it's like okay these companies are developing only to serve those people but the poor people the poconos really are not being even considered here i can tell you Realtors are investing more and more since the Poconos offers the perfect getaway during every season. So no matter what, if it's fall, spring and summer, whatever, it's just the perfect getaway and there's always something to do in every season here. So los Poconos, los, las personas que están eh, con bienes raíces y todo eso son los que están diciendo, bueno, ay, compremos casa, invertamos acá, ya. Y pues están viendo una buena oportunidad. Eso están las cosas positivas de los Poconos. ¿No? Entonces, ahora, las carreras que debemos considerar cuando, digamos, venimos jóvenes y no sabemos qué vamos a estudiar. Entonces, les recomiendo learning a second language. You know, like learning a second language is good because as this population is going to grow, they're going to be forced to create some type of job for bilingual people, period. Uh, professional employment services, you know, like uh, career advisor training, a certified nurse or aide, because, come on, it's, it's like, there's a lot of substance abuse, psychiatrics over here going on, that's perfect. So, tax revenue fields, the IRS is opening more jobs over here because the more people build their homeworks, the most tax revenue it creates. Um, commercial, and co commercial and residential construction, very good. Building const uh, construction technology, like you becoming an engineer and how to build new houses, better heating systems, building, all that stuff, great. Go to school for it. Civil engineering technology, do it because they are always finding new ways and how to build a house uh, cheaper and faster so do it geology they all they since they're building so they're always going to need a geologist who's going to study the like the earth and and and, and, and the field where that house is going to be built so do it. counseling um as people come here they come with their kids of course the population, the population is going to grow. They don't have enough counselors. So, of course, studying counseling is good. Investing. If you have money, invest. It's good. Um, open your own nonprofit. This is the place to, to start thinking, you know what? Let me open a nonprofit. Let me, let, me do, let me write up a grant. That I could tell you. Sociology. Social welfare. Psychology. Uh, gerontology, social worker, human service, anything within the social services, go for it. There's lots of issues here, lots of it, lots of crazy people here, especially substance abuse. Oof. Criminal justice, chemical dependency, mijo, todo lo que es trabajadora social, psicólogo, todo eso para las cosas de las personas que tienen problemas de, sus, de abuso de sustancias, alcohol, todo eso, aquí hay trabajo, una cosa impresionante. Mental health, Inte intellectual disabilities, certified teachers, nurse practitioners, and realtors. So like, these are like, you wanna, like, if you're already in this field, you should consider moving here, you know? If you're not yet in a field like that, but related fields, you got to find a way that where you fit in here. But this is the money making now here. Okay, so. Effective websites to find work here in Monroe, Pike County, and the other counties that I said are www.governmentjobs.com www.usjobs.gov 
Monroe County, PA.gov, Pike, PA.org, slash employment, Wayne County, PA.gov, slash jobs, dot ASPX, carboncounty.com, forward slash indis, dot PHP, slash employment, uh, slash, I don't know how you say that. I forgot that part. But I see. Boom. Radita. Opportunities. Radita. Many. And then the usual Zindi.com, Korea.com, Mustard.com. All those, all those things are, are good to find jobs. But like this is for the government jobs. And then over here for the regular jobs. Be careful about job relocation. And I'm, I'm not going to say it again. And I have always said, you must take into account your age and see if the job opportunities where you move into are great. Like, for example, I didn't really see my age when I moved here. I was under the impression that, oh, I have a degree, I'm going to be able to find a job anywhere because that's what the universities say. But then when it comes to a place of shit, your age, your what the what the heck you study things like that be careful about that muchas de las personas cuando se mudan para acá tienen que chequear la edad que tienen en este momento y las carreras que tiene ese lugar para usted conseguir trabajo inmediato what will you lose if you relocate your job that's the question that you have to ask yourself what will you lose if you relocate, you know, your job? And I forgot to put a question mark instead of a dot there. Okay, so what would you lose? Right? What would I gain? ¿Qué voy a perder si, 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 yo, me, si yo cambio el trabajo? ¿Qué es lo que yo no voy a perder? So those are the questions. Uh, Commute cost versus finding a job in the neighborhood, in your neighborhood, right? You always have to see that. El tiempo que, que yo voy a ir a un trabajo, a, a ver si encuentro un trabajo donde yo vivo. Muy importante. Learning about the community that you're moving to. Yes. Like, you see, like, when you look at these things, Oh, and none of these things say se habla español or, or none of that. Like, oh my God, what are those people? You know, like, question it. Question it. And where you want to live, do you want to live in a community or in a private lot? I live in a private lot. I don't do amenities. I don't pay amenities. When you live in a community, you pay amenities. So, it's either or. For example, if you lose your job, right, all of your job, whatever, amenities are some reasons why people lose their homes. So, be very careful. I don't recommend living in a community. I recommend more living in a private lot because sometimes things get tied and amenities build up if you don't pay them and most of the people lose their home because of the amenity not because they're not paying the mortgage so be very careful muchas de las personas que deciden vivir en una comunidad a veces se les olvida de que hay unos amenities que hay que pagar cada mes lo del mantenimiento y si viven en un terreno que es privado no hay que pagar eso a veces uno solo tiene la plata del mortgage pues no tiene la plata para el, para el mantenimiento so mucho cuidado en donde ustedes van a escoger donde van a vivir cuando vivan en los pocos okay so why do people move here why like why am i here why why i came to the focus right so one of the things housing opportunities renting versus own of course i'm going to choose own land i want to be a renter i want to be an owner right of course that's why i move here ¿Por qué la gente se muda acá? Pues claro, por las oportunidades de tener una casa versus rentar. Of course, vas a, vas a escoger, comprémosla. Retirement. Some people come here for retirement, se retiran. 
eh, cambian de carrera, de pronto dice me cansé de, de ser esto y me voy a, a volver un, un, un inversionista, voy a comprar bienes raíces o voy a ir a trabajar algo, o sea, lo cambian. Room for your legs, you know, <laughs> like, como dice Cardi B, like, I need room for my legs, you know, move, you know, like, more space to raise a family, slower pace of life. You know what? I came to a conclusion. And I only live a year here. And I found out that people move to Poconos not to make friends. That's like not to have friends. That's why I, I tell you. So that's why they love the slower pace of life. So, hay mucha gente que se muda acá para no tener amigos. Opportunities of investment. You know, like land is cheap. You have a couple of hundred thousands and whatever to invest. Of course, it's a great opportunity. The roads over easy access to metropolitan areas like New York, like Elizabeth, New Jersey, Patterson, uh, what have you. Dover, New Jersey, you know, like that. Like, it's not like, oh my God, I'm in the middle of nowhere and I can't go anywhere. No, of course people move here because they have easy roads, but only to roads. We're not talking about public transportation. That's another thing. It's very little here. You have those taxis, you know, that take you there for $15 and whatever, but still, it's not considered like reliable transportation because sometimes they come late and all that stuff, so forget it. More family center activities, of course. Apoconos is the best for that. Acá hay más actividades para las familias. Están más centrados en la familia. Todo la familia. Muy chévere. Okay. The things people don't tell you about the Apoconos. Las cosas que no te dicen cuando te mudas acá. This they never tell me. So, utilities. Electricity, of course, in New York I pay electricity. When I was a tenant, I didn't pay water. If you live in a community and they have a sewer line, you're paying water. You're paying the heat. Either you're gonna have natural gas or propane. Let me tell you something. Propane is expensive. Natural gas is cheaper. But where I live, I have to pay propane. Propane is expensive. The garbage, you gotta pay your own garbage. There's a bill for that. And landscaping. Depending on how big your land is, you're going to spend some money on landscaping. So these things, they don't tell you. Oh, but I don't pay water because I have a, uh, ¿cómo se llama? It's a septic tank. You're paying for that damn water. Even if you're pulling the water from the above the ground, you need, you're using electricity to bring it up and, and bring it <laughs> to your house. So you're still paying for it. There's nothing cheap. I, I just like, no. This is a common wealth, not a state. Highly conservative. That's what it means. I mean, of course, it has the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, all those things that we, you know, federal, whatever, yeah. But when it comes to the laws, they're very conservative laws, and oh my God, they're so hard, Ugh. you know, like to get to get used to it. So, home addresses might say you are from an area, but you don't belong to that area, but you belong to a municipality. You know, like this is so much crazy stuff. Like, I'm supposed to be part of like a scar run but because i'm in the middle so i'm henry but it's like it's crazy let me tell you it's crazy just like just you pay for the city tax and the city uh city waivers and whatever you will also pay here the local wage and the service tax so they say that uh republican uh states you don't pay taxes yes you do pay tax the laws are different in general, so that I already covered that. So, so how you adapt to this Poconos? And you know what? A friend of mine, and I'm going to give her credit for that, and her name is Naomi. 
She said, Paola, your problem is that your mentality has to change. This mentality, this New Yorker, this liberal mentality has to change. Or maybe I have to pretend that my mentality change, right? Accept the pay cut. If I want to adapt here, I have to accept the fact the pay cut, right? So, you know, I never made like a lot of money in New York, but I was making 27 something dollars an hour and then with overtime and this, it brought me like making like 30 to 35, depending on how much overtime I did. So, when I came here and I was offered $16 an hour, I was like, damn. But to want like the pickup, to be happy, right? To accomplish happiness and the emotional stability. So this is it. That's that's like a, a review of what I did. You could post your comments as long as they are comments that respect me, do not insult me, do not call me names. I'm going to really reply to it. Um, I will make more videos like this. It's just that it's a matter of time sometimes. I don't live in the internet like youtubers that they make a living out of this i i don't make a penny of making these videos no one is telling me paola do this commercial i'll pay you this money none of that nobody told me oh you know what you should do a channel about your experiences when you move to poconos nobody told me that either i decided myself to do it because i noticed that most of all the Coconut area videos in YouTube are only focused, their only focus is to attract tourists, and that's it. They don't have, it's like, I don't see enough people. Maybe there is people, but I don't see enough people doing what I'm doing. So I hope that whoever is, you know, planning to move to the Poconos, I'm not saying do not move here, this is a horrible place. But at least I could give you that incentive, you know, that that start, that that vision that I wasn't given that. I was told by many people, oh yeah, this is an easy area. No, it's not. This is not an easy area. I have struggled so much. And one of the things that I have struggled is surviving in a job. Surviving here in a job is not that easy. It's not that easy. And then the laws makes it really hard for someone to have something called job security and for any reason anyone could get fired in this state because the state does not mandate you know whoever to get you you know that gets you fired to really do a process called corrective action so be very careful about when you start working here because it's not like new york and there's no those there's not those steps before getting rid of you they just get rid of you so that's why I said, and if you're if you're planning to to do some of the careers that I have already spoke, or to do some of the investments, you're you're most welcome. This area is growing tremendously, and I see that within the next five years, this area is gonna grow even more, and then that we're turning ourselves from being a rural area to a suburbs. That's why I see it. Entonces, lo que yo creo. Y para despedirme es de que yo solamente estoy dando esa oportunidad, si tú estás pensando mudarte aquí, de que veas un poquito las consecuencias de qué es lo que es mudarse aquí, porque a veces no hay suficientes videos de los Poconos que hablan de esto. La mayoría de los videos que hay aquí de los Poconos siempre están en el turismo y pasarla bien, pero nunca hablan de las cosas que yo estoy hablando. Entonces, um, antes yo coloqué un video de esta misma esta misma presentación aquí yo la explico por qué yo la hice estoy explicándola pero en el otro video de, de ayer ahí está para o sea si ustedes quieren volver o mirar la dirección de donde pueden encontrar trabajo eh, 
les agradezco por su atención a aquellas personas que me miran y pues las que no, pues que algún día lo puedan ver. Mi nombre es Paola Cajares y desde aquí, Living in PA, Poco No Life People. This is my life, this is my experiences, and you're welcome to come in and see what I have experienced. That's all I could do, people. Peace, Poco No Life.